Hey, what is going on? I'm here from Dragon Road, and today let's take a look at the Legend Rom for the Loic Evolutor. So, if you don't know about Legend Rom, Legend Rom is a customized and more optimized version of Lineage OS. So, Lineage OS basically has very little customization options when compared to that of other custom ROMs, and that's where Legend Rom comes in. So, it's completely based on Lineage OS but has more customization options when compared to that of Lineage OS. So the first thing that's new with this ROM is a legend browser. It's nothing but a customized version of the Chrome Google Chrome browser with some additional features. And the next thing is the ability to switch between light, dark, light and dark theme uh, in the display option. So it basically changes the whole UI's base color to either white or black depending on whatever you choose or you can also have it in automatic mode so that the device will automatically switch between white and dark color depending on the time. And then it also comes with some basic additional features like three finger gesture to take screenshots. You can also enable clear all tab, which is basically a clear all icon in the recent apps tray. Even though that's actually a default one, this one has sort of like an, a colorful look to it. And you can choose between where you want to place it. And you can also enable memory bar in the recent apps, which will display the amount of free RAM that's available right now. And then you have your usual status bar tweaks like setting clock icon settings, clock icon placement, network traffic monitor and you also have the ability to enable custom header image you can choose between dynamic or static header image and there's also a wake lock blocker built in. So in terms of features and customization options instead of throwing everything that's available out there at your face Legend ROM comes with just the ones which makes more sense which we tend to use on a regular basis. So now moving on to the stability and performance of the ROM. It's basically based on Lineage OS so it's very similar to that of Lineage OS. The performance is great, the battery life is great. The IR blaster does not work by default but there's a workaround for that which I will to which I'll leave a card right here and the camera works um, 10 out of 10 the camera does not crash like it used to do in the initial builds of lineage OS now it's super stable it works 10 out of 10 without any issues unless and until you enable quad HD resolution in video recording so up to 1080 pixels both video recording and still photos works without any issues the camera is super stable but just don't use quad hd enabling quad hd makes the camera to crash so th yeah that's it for this video guys that was legend rom if you want to install legend rom link for the rom will be in the description below you can check out any of my previous tutorial videos to know how to install the rom if you don't know how to install the rom and i will see you guys later see ya